Welcome to the Spaceship Poetry, where sometimes you have to leave the earth in your mind to grab the universe gifts through poetry. Space Poetry Moment, Star Date Friday. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this M87 weekend. M87 of what? Well, the M87 black hole. You know, in science fiction, I still remember the earlier science fiction days. Uh, You mostly heard uh, things talked about like uh, black holes and uh, how they were uh, misunderstood. And then in the science fiction, they still found out when spaceships went in them, they reappeared on another side of the galaxy or what have you. And that really does uh, contradict how they described black holes as having a uh, gravity so strong, you know, so uh, condensed uh, that nothing could go in there without being trapped or even crushed. However, see, in science fiction, we were able to get wonderful stories uh, that ended up showing, oh, no, you can travel through black holes. Now, I mentioned that because Maybe it was a decade or so later because I just don't remember science fiction stories really talking about wormholes. It was always the black holes. But all the same, you know, some decades later, maybe when I started paying attention more, uh, they started talking how, no, it's the wormholes that will travel you across, you know, one dimension of time or what have you to another sector in another dimension or even time of space. Well, let's see how they built that um, theory. You see some of these theories this weekend about uh, the black holes, etc. And since we're traveling on the edges of the M87 <laughs> black hole, and now the edges could still be <laughs> millions of light years away or what have you, but the whole point is, uh, if you notice, even um, Hubble telescope, do they still take pictures from the Hubble telescope? Do they still get those or what have you? Uh, but, you know, they do have some uh, uh, traveling satellite uh, telescopes, magnified I, or I don't know how, you know, how many uh, magnifications, but it just seems like they can go still light years out into space and show us these images. You know, it's, it's amazing. But, you know, one of the reasons why that happens, you know, persons may look out at a star. Let's see, I just thought I'd mention this. And you, and you may think that your eyes is really doing all the work to look at that star. You see, but it's not. It's actually the light. That's how powerful and big these stars are. It's the light that still ended up traveling to Earth. And so you're just seeing it come to your doorstep, so to speak. You know, the light with your eyes. And sometimes, uh, (laughs) I admit, we may need glasses for our eyes to still pick up the light. But yes, it's the light that has already traveled to us from all those distances of light years away. And it's amazing because the telescopes, remember the way the lenses are, uh, the way that they form them, uh, they're able to pick up those uh, little minute rays of light that even our eyes can't see or what have you. And yet, you know, give us a better picture of outer space and at that distance and that farther distance, you see, away. All the same, I wanted to let you know that the M87, today is like a very uh, special day. There's, you know, new releases of music as well. But I wanted to at least mention that to you, that starting on Friday and running through the weekend, you'll see us, uh, you know, taking a look at this M87 black hole. All right. And... Uh, I have some other special stuff going on for you as well. This was a spaceship poetry moment. Have a wonderful start to your Friday. And hey, thank you for being here as always.